let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Verse 10 nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, reminds me of a certain country, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. You may ask me, Kevin, why did you read this? Give me time. And this brings me to my point. Some people may be trying to live for Jesus Christ now, but they may see people who sin, people who may be atheists or Buddhists or people who are just wicked. Some people who are trying to live for Jesus Christ may see people who aren't trying to live for Jesus Christ. They may see them and think to themselves, hey, these people have nice cars. These people have like nice jobs and as it seems they are having a very nice life meanwhile while i am met with challenges demons are doing this to me demons are doing that i have my struggles and as it seems living wickedly is more beneficial, is more easier. And this is not true. We have to understand we all are going to reap what we sow. We are. So in a sense, if I can say that, what we do, the way we behave, is going to return to us in a certain way. So even if I don't see <clears throat> many sinners get punished, I know that they are. I don't have to like the way I am now. I am so convinced living for Jesus Christ is the best thing to do. Even if I see rich people who are atheists from the outside, they may have so many good things as it seems. Even if their lifestyle seems so glorious, fantastic, I know that their life, they are living it in vain. I think the problem of some people you look from the outside in, if that makes any sense. You judge things from the outside, but not really 
know what is really going on. I hope this makes sense. How can I rightfully, accurately judge something if I don't really see what is happening in the inside? How can I say someone is having a great life if I can't look at that person's emotions, if I don't see what is happening in that person's marriage, relationship, I don't see what is going on with that person's mind. Please listen. All I see is their cars, their home, their money, in a sense. I can see their clothes and stuff like that. So how can I say from your worldly possessions, I can estimate or assume that you are having a great life? That makes no sense. So just because I am rich, which I am not, for an example, just because I am rich, that makes you believe my life is great. Like, because I am rich, I have peace and happiness and joy and stuff like that. No. If I am living outside of Jesus Christ, how can I have sustained peace? If Jesus Christ can bring you peace, can bring you joy, happiness, and stuff like that, how can I really obtain those attributes or have them sustained in my life if I am choosing to reject Jesus Christ? Please tell me. Can demons give me joy? Can demons give me peace? Can demons give me what Jesus Christ, I believe, can only give me? I don't think so. I don't think so. A person having much possessions doesn't equate to happiness. It doesn't. Stuff may entertain you, possessions may entertain you for a while, but I believe after time, you are going to find out that it is not fulfilling that empty void within you. And yes, I believe if you are not living for Jesus Christ, I believe there is an empty void within you. So, if you are a new Christian or going back and forth Christian, stop looking at others and fix your eyes on Jesus Christ. Because if living outside of Jesus Christ is so great, why are you trying to live for him now? Obviously, I believe it is demons trying to distract you to get you back into your old ways. I truly believe so. Let me stop here. God bless you.